right folks so uh, yeah that new set to track then um, I've just quickly broken down the little lead licks um, that main sort of lick that runs through it and the chord progressions because there's some interesting stuff going on with the chord changes throughout the track so um, hope you enjoy it please like and subscribe check out patreon if you want uh, more to come let's get stuck in cheers <laughs> Okay then, let's have a quick look at the opening uh, lead break. So we're in the key of A minor. Um, it's all pentatonic, A pentatonic. So we are using this scale here, string six, five, eight, string five, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five, eight. So that's your A minor pentatonic. So first thing that happens then when it kicks in, there's like a little slide. Um, it sounds like it's sort of going from fret 15 on string four. Then it hits fret seven on string four for that first note. So it slides into seven. Then it slides into seven again to do the. So you do seven on string four again, and then go five, seven on string three. Then do a bend, bring it up, back down again. Then fret five on string three, and then fret five on string four. So you got. Yeah, so. Okay, after that, we're back to fret seven on string three again. We've got three bends. Or two bends, and then you do fret five, and then another bend. So you got so fret five, and then bend it straight up a tone, then put a little bit of vibrato on the end of it. Okay, so we got. Next bit of the lick, back to fret seven again on string four, then five, seven on string three. Bend it up, back down, then pull off to fret five on string three, then seven on string four. So we got. Then after that, we've got this little bit that runs up. Okay, that is just fret five on string three to seven on string four. Then go five on string two to five on string three. Then go eight five on string two. So you got. And then go eight seven, sorry. Then go eight five on string one. Then you just do a bend on eight again, full full bend, so to the pitch of fret ten, and then hit fret five again. So we should now have. Okay then, so after that, it just moves up an octave. Uh, we're still using the A minor pentatonic scale, but we're now using this one here, which would be. Which is from string five, you're going 12, 15, and then 12, 14, 12, 14, 13, 15, 12, 15. So that's your A minor pentatonic again, but with the root on the A string an octave higher than what we had down there from uh, fret five. So the little melody section then is just going um, 
very similar to what we had before. So we're doing fret 14 on string three and then 13 to 15 on string two. So you bend it up, back down, hit fret 13 again on string two. Then hit fret 12 on string three. And then just get a little bit excited with the, uh, the Bigsby. Okay, after that we do fret 15 on string two. We've got two bends. And then fret 13. Then we bend fret 15 again on string two. And we just slowly release it. So we got like. Okay. Then this lick is the same as what we had down there, but um, we're going to go 14 on string three again, then 13 to 15 on string two. Bend it up, back down. Do a little pull off to fret 13 on string two, fret 14 on string three. So we got. After that, we've got that nice little run up which is just going um, string two, you got 13, and then 14 on string three. And then you go 12 on string one, and then you got 13 on string two. Then go 15, 12 on string one. So you got. Then you jump up and you go 21 to 17. Yeah. And then do 21 full bend and then do 17 again on string one. Okay then, so like the intro uh, chords and in the verse, there's some interesting stuff going on here. Uh, there's some changes and some nice chords happening, um, which you may not pick out when you just listen to the track, you know, just sort of having a listen. Um, so what we've got then, we've got A minor, uh, which is just this typical A minor down here, you know, fret one on strings two, fret two on strings three and four. <laughs> Then it goes to G major, like your bar chord, so fret three. Then it goes to like an F major seven. So just in case you don't know that, you've got fret one on string six, fret one on string two, and fret two on strings three and four. Then the bass drops down to an E, and if you just take your finger off the E string, and mute the A string, just let your finger touch the string so it's dead. And then you can have like an A minor over E. And then go to the actual E chord at the end. So you'd have that going. So in total for that first turnaround, then you've got A minor. G. F major 7. With the bass note. E. Now the second time it's very similar, but uh, after hearing it a few times, you can hear there is some changes in there. So it's A minor again, but it doesn't move to the actual G major bar chord. It keeps it on the A minor. It just changes the bass note. So your little pinky sits on fret three of string six. Uh, 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 uh,
and then it drops down a semitone so you, it goes to like an F minor 7 flat 5 which is like having an A minor but you've got fret 2 on string 6 so the way I would do that if you hold down fret 1 on string 2 with your first finger fret 2 on strings 3 and 4 with your pinky and your ring finger and that leaves your middle finger to do fret 2 on string 6 <laughs> Yeah, so that would now give you. Then back to the F major seven. Straight to E again. So that is the full turnaround. Like I said, when you listen to it, you might not pick out that, you know, it, it isn't doing like the G major bar chord the second time through. But when you start listening to it, you're like, ah, right, there's other stuff going on here as well. So I'll just play that one more time all the way through, and then we'll have a little look what else we've got. So the chorus then, there's some interesting stuff going on here as well. So before we get to the actual chorus part, we've got like a bit where it goes F to E, but it's not just like a, a normal F, you know, bar chord. Because you can hear the open string on string one, so. Yeah, so we're just doing like an F major, aren't we? but we've just got an E on the high E string. So what I do there then, I'd use my thumb to hold down fret one of string six. And then my first finger would hold fret one on string two. And then second finger, fret two on string three. Third and fourth finger, fret three on strings four and five. And that'll give me that. And then just E major. Yeah, so that is just what's leading us into the chorus. Yeah, so the chords in the chorus are pretty much the same as like the verse and intro. But if you listen carefully again, you can hear just for a bit of, I suppose, variation in the sound of it. It goes to A minor, but he doesn't play the A minor here. He does the bar chord because you can hear the higher notes ringing on that A minor when it goes into the chorus. So you've got this one here, you know, the fret five bar, fret seven on strings four and five. And it goes to G, like we did before, the bar chord. Then it goes to F. So you can do a normal F there. But then the bass note drops to E, and what happens here, um, a bit different again, we've got this A sus4. So if you do um, fret two on strings two, three, and four, that would be our E sus4. And then just normally at the end. So that should now give us the first turnaround of that, that chorus, which should be. Yep. 
Yeah. Second one is very similar to the verse where it goes back to the A minor down here and we're, we're just moving the bass notes down a little bit. So you've got A minor. Put that G bass note in with, in with your little finger. And then we've got this F minor seven flat five. F major seven. And it goes to E right at the end, okay? So that is our chorus little bit. So we should have. back into the back into that bit again then so the bridge uh, we move to D minor and there's like a descending bass line so there's two ways we could do this you could just stay on the D minor and let the bass line descend And that would that would work great, you know. You just stay on the D and let the bass do the dropping part. If you want to put the bass line in, we could do it like this as well. So we could do D minor down here, you know, fret one on string one, fret three on string two, fret two on string three, and then you get your little pinky. You could put it on fret three, a string five. So you're just changing the bass line, bass line, bass note. And then um, we could do the same again. We have to change our fingers around a little bit to get to the next bit. So you then hold the D minor, like first finger on string one, and then your, your ring finger on string three, and then your little pinky on string two, and that frees up your second finger to do the bass, uh, bass note on fret two or string five. And then we could just go to uh, like, a sharp major and then at the end it does like an a sus4 you know which is fret three on string two fret two on string three and four to just a major at the end so yeah so d minor change the bass note to a c there so you got fret three on string five and then we change the pattern a little bit. It's the same shape, but we change our fingers. We've got the bass note there. And then um, just A sharp, B flat, then the sus4. Then it breaks down, just goes back to the vocal and drums. Okay. Okay then, so finally out of that then, uh, before it takes us back into the chorus, uh, we've just got some muting with your, your picking hand. And then to build it back into the chorus, it's just doing like an E9. So, you know, you've got seven on string five, six on string four, seven on string three, and then eight on string two. And it's just, it's just doing like a... Which takes us back into the, the chorus. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm not going to do the solo, uh, but I'm going to show you some of the ideas where it's probably coming from with some of the scales. So there's a lot of pentatonic in there. So we're going to have this one, you know, 5, 8 on string 6, 5, 7, 5, 7, 5, 7, 5, 8, 5, 8. <laughs> Uh, so that is one pattern um, and then to join go with that we could have the A natural minor scale so we could have this one here So if we go 875 on string 1 865 on string 2 Then 754 on string 3 Then 753 on string 4 then 753 on string 5 then just 75 on string 6 okay um another one we can have then we could have the same uh natural minor scale but we can run it from here so if you just go 13 12 10 on string 1 same on string 2 and then go 12 10 9 on strings 3 and 4 and then fret 12 on string 5 would be the root. Okay, I hope those couple of scales are useful for you to jam along to and just do your own thing with it. Um, obviously loads more lessons on the way. Uh, please check out Patreon. I'll see you soon. Cheers.